Derek, we're midway through NBAA 2013. Certainly a lot of stuff to see here on the floor. And granted, it's, it's great to talk about the latest airplane and the latest engine and so forth, but there's a tremendous amount of technology that drives aviation, keeps aviation safe, and keeps people informed about what aviation is doing 24-7. Sounds like you folks are in that business. Tell me what's happening. Yeah, we've got, um, we've really seen a lot of adoption here recently, primarily in the uh, air medical transport category. Air Methods recently purchased 150 units and they will be installing them pretty much fleet-wide here in the next year or so. A little bit of FAA certification to be done to get you know, approval to install on all those airframes. Now what exactly are these systems then doing for the operator? The system allows the operator to basically collect data on a daily basis, all the data that, you know, the boring stuff that people don't necessarily want to look at on a flight-by-flight -flight basis. You can pull the data, sends it up to the cloud to be analyzed by somebody, you know, after the fact. Now, you're providing instrumentation, of course. Are you providing solutions in which to enable that instrumentation? So we have the hardware platform, which is the Vision 1000. This is actually the data recorder, SD card, goes into here take the SD card out, put it into a computer, goes up into the cloud, and then we have a system in the background called alerts that allows the operator to set events to look at any kind of deviations from standard operating procedures. Mm -hmm. How is that information presented? How is it analyzed? What is it that an operator is, is looking for in order to have the most efficient and safe system? Right, so if you see here, this is the software that we provide to allow the operator to actually analyze an event that may have happened, they can come in here to confirm something. So you can see here there's an excessive bank and an excessive pitch exceedance. Click on something here and we can actually zoom in and see the replay of that particular event, whether to validate it, maybe you know somebody there was a tower in that area so it's explainable, or it was actually an exceedance that should be corrected by looping back into training. Installation utilization, what does this take, what's required, what are the legalities in order to use this system in the commercial world? The system actually only connects to power and ground in the aircraft, so it's minimally intrusive. It does have an external GPS antenna. By external, I mean it's on a wire and typically sits inside the aircraft on the dash. FAA STC is typically the route that we choose to go. There are a lot of installations via field approvals, which are pretty easy to get. It's a pretty simple bracket and the headliner of the aircraft and then power and ground and you're good to go. Now you mentioned that the aviation medical field is using, where else might this be utilized? Flight training has really found a home for this product as well. As you can see there's a synchronized playback so from a student and instructor perspective to come back and sit down and actually visualize pieces of the flight rather than just trying to describe back to the student where you know a mistake was made or something can be improved. It's been very successful in that market. One of the problems an operator has with something like this is that to a certain extent there may be part of the personnel involved that may not like the concept of an electronic nanny where ultimately what they're really trying to do is keep everything as safe and as efficient as possible. How are users translating their concerns and their desires to the users and the operators of these aircraft? It really comes down to who's controlling the data and ensuring that the pilots don't perceive this as a punitive box. We do typically see a little bit of pushback right when a system is installed in a fleet and eventually you know a lot of the pilots start to see it as something that they're benefiting from whether it's you know somebody suspects that something went wrong during a flight and they're able to go back and validate that in fact something didn't happen and then you know having that power be in the hands of the pilots typically a union leader or a leader within the pilot group. Well, Derek, I appreciate your time on the floor of MBAA 2013. We look forward to visiting with you in the future and see what's next. All right. Thanks a lot. Aero TV is brought to you by Mid-Continent Instruments leads the industry in the advanced design, manufacture, overhaul, exchange, and repair of aircraft instruments, avionics, and emergency power supplies. Mid-Continent Instruments, 47 years of service and counting.